Hey everyone, it's Ashley and welcome to another craft takeout video. It's been a while since we've done one, but for the month of October, I thought it would be fun to do a altered spooky spell book craft. So this is just an old book and it's wrapped in a paper towel that achieves that leathery look and it's painted with black and um, accented with some gold metallic paint. So underneath here too, we have put some thumbtacks for accents and some words. So in your craft takeout kit is a book, a paintbrush, the Mod Podge and paint that you'll need, um, a key, and a ribbon, which I have misplaced, oh, oh, a ribbon to add that bookmark. If that's how you wanna use the key and the ribbon, it's com completely up to you. Um, some thumbtacks if you want those accents. And then some letters as well to spell out whatever you want to spell out. You can request for me to pull some specific letters if you wish. Um, but I just have the um, letters for magic. Um, so this is a craft takeout. So these items are available in your kit. But you will also need scissors and a hot glue gun. And then you will also get a paper towel in your kit as well. But if you don't have some of those supplies at home, um, this kit can be done in our makerspace, The Spark, anytime during the week of October 24th. You still have to reserve a kit ahead of time, but you can come in after school or when you have some available time to work on this project in The Spark if you wish. Um, but it's a very simple project. Um, it does take multiple days to do it because you have to let the Mod Podge dry and then the paint dry and the paint dry again. Um, but it's a fun little project to do. So let's get going on it and make our spooky book. All right, so the first thing we need to do is take the book that you are gonna use and kind and put whatever you want on it. Um, so with this book, I have spells down here using the foam letters. I added the thumbtack, the little accent. Um, if you have anything else at home that you want to add to it. If you want to use hot glue and make a design so it's a little raised, if you want to add some skeletons or if you have little bat toys or spiders, um, this is where you're going to put everything on here. So then we lay the paper towels over that and then we paint over the paper towels. So go ahead and kind of figure out what you want to do with your book, how you want it to look and that'll be the first step. So once you have your cover how you want it, you can even do something to the spine if you wish, if it's big enough. Um, so once you have everything the way that you want it, then we are going to take a, our paper towel. You want to get it wet, you don't want it soaking wet, um, but nice and damp. And we are going to lay it over our book to achieve that crinkled leather look. So what we're going to do just kind of wrap this is going to be messy just to let you know <laughs> i'm going to wrap our book with a paper towel kind of get it in the cover just to hold it in place and we do want it kind of just wrinkly and scrunched up um, but covered very well. And then once it's kind of on the book, we're going to take our Mod Podge and slap it on there and really glue it in place. This is going to take some time, kind of get into all the crevices of everything. Again, your paper towel doesn't need to be flat. You actually want it kind of wrinkled. So I'll just take the Mod Podge and as you can see, I'm just slapping on the Mod Podge. So take some time and work on that. Mm -hmm. 
You might have to use your fingers a bit or another tool to kind of work in the paper towels in your letters so those kind of stand out a little bit more. Um, just kind of push around the edges. You kind of see the magic is standing out a little bit more. If you can, try to get the paper towel to wrap around the edges. It's okay if it's messy all inside there. This is more of like a decoration book, obviously not a readable book. But if you want to put spells and magic in them, go right ahead. Good layer of Mod Podge on there. Squish around your letters. And we'll use a metallic paint too to make the letter stand out a little bit more once we put all the black paint on there. And if you have any other item under the paper towel, like a key or a spider, make sure you kind of mold the paper towel, towel around those objects as well. Um, it's best to let this dry standing up, so set it on a paper plate or a newspaper. And then also I also want to talk about the edges on the inside. Just, um, wrap the paper towel around, but you can also lay it down with some Mod Podge to make sure it sticks. You can cut it so it doesn't like this one kind of goes in pretty far. You can cut it a little bit if you want to, but just wrap it around the edges like this and lay down some Mod Podge so it sticks. Um, kind of do that around all the edges. Like I said, it doesn't have to be completely perfect. It's an old book, it's supposed to be an old book, so it's okay, it's a little ragged. Um, but I just want to remind you about that. So I'll let it dry overnight, and again, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Hey everyone, so by now your book should have dried completely, and the next step is to simply paint the whole thing front and back with your, the black paint. So again, use your paintbrush provided and cover the whole thing in black paint. Again, you are going to let this dry. It shouldn't take as long as the Mod Podge, um, but you can do it, leave it overnight or keep an eye on it, give little touch-ups if need to, um, but let it completely dry and then we'll move on to the next step. So I'll see you at the next step. Hey everyone, welcome back to the final installment of our altered spooky spell book craft. So by now your book should be dried with the black paint and our next step is to just put some accent color with a metallic gold color to kind of bring out the wrinkles and the words and the other accents that you may have added to the book. So with this, you do want a very dry sponge brush. So let this dry very well. And you are gonna take your gold metallic paint and you just want a little bit. So kind of dab some on there, maybe dab it on the your paper plate or your newspaper and we are going to lightly brush it over your book. Um, you can, again, this is however you wanna do it. If you want a lot of gold paint, do a lot of gold paint. If you just want a little, if you don't want any, it's completely up to you. So we are just going to kind of get a little bit of paint and lightly brush it on there, whatever you wish. So I'm gonna go over the magic words so they pop out a little bit more. over the wrinkles.
go over the little accent thumbtacks that we put in the corners. Get those wrinkles. So magic kind of pops out a little bit more with that gold. And of course you want to do the back as well. the spine especially if you put something um, that sticks out on the spine so you want to accent that so there's my book the back so I am pretty satisfied with that. So we will let that dry just for a couple minutes and then we'll move to the last part of adding the key if you haven't already kind of already attached it to it um, with the ribbon. So I'll be right back once again. All right, so now we are ready to put the finishing touches on our spooky book. So we have a key and a length of ribbon. So you can see in the other example that I did, the ribbon is attached at the bottom. So when it is holding a spot in the book, the key is hanging down like this. You can do it this way or you can do it the other way as well, however you want. You can even just glue the key onto the book if you haven't already. Um, completely up to you, however you want to do it. But you're going to need a hot glue gun for this part. Again, if you don't have a hot glue gun at home, you are more than welcome to come use uh, materials that we have in our makerspace, the Spark, anytime during this week. So what I did is going to loop the ribbon into the little key. Alright, so I just looped it through like that and then I'm just going to glue the little piece of glue so it hangs like that. key attached to the ribbon and then I'm going to glue put a little piece a little bit of glue right there at the end and put the ribbon right there and that's it And just like that, you have a ribbon bookmark. Of course, you can have the ribbon whatever length you want. This one is a little bit shorter, but there is your altered spooky spell book. Um, they're great for decorations, spooky decorations um, to keep up all year round or during October, of course. Um, but I hope you had fun making this. We will have another craft takeout in November, so keep an eye out for that. But thank you for making this with me and I'll see you next time.